Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the next 10 days. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. So we are going to get into your recent past, your current energy in the near future, and then we'll take a look at what's going on with you and your person or whoever's on your mind. If you are returning, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for all of your support, sticking with me through some of these gaps in my uploading. I appreciate you so much. And if you are new, welcome. I do hope you'll consider subscribing. If you enjoy the messages, hit that like button, notifications, all that good stuff. If you would like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. And for those of you that are new, I am a psychic medium. I do not use tarot in my personal readings. Uh, I just don't need it. So I appreciate um, if you have an understanding of that when you reach out so that there isn't the expectation that I do use just general tarot. Okay, so let's see what's going on for you guys in the next 10 days as we are wrapping up 2022. Can't believe it. All right, so your overall energy, we have the three of pentacles in reverse. So there are some things that may not have come together that you had expected, and I think that's a blessing in disguise is what Spirit's trying to say. Because if people aren't working together with you, a lot of times this could be a feeling of either I'm not being acknowledged for the things that I'm trying hard to work through, to work together with others on, things like that. This is really strongly feeling like it's a blessing in disguise. So if something hasn't come together, hopefully you're going to figure out over the next couple of weeks, there's a reason for it because there's new energy that I feel like is going to start in the beginning of 2023 for you. So in the recent past, we have the devil. Yeah. Cause there was something that was either you felt bound to, or there was yes, some toxic energy. So if you felt like you had to be involved in a situation regardless, because there's something that you felt, um, I, I just keep wanting to say there's something you felt bound to and there's a sense of like, it's a blessing that this isn't going to work out. And I think you're going to realize the reasons why something around, they're either being toxic energy, toxic people, situations, circumstances, whatever it was. And it's going to be a big relief. The magician, yeah, because you're trying to, or we're trying to figure out how to create something new and different. And this is, again, it's like your spiritual team is coming in and saying, we're hearing that you're trying to manifest. You're letting us know the desires that you have and how you'd like to get yourself out of a confining situation, something that's held you back or made you feel like you couldn't get away from it. The Page of Cups, that's a new opportunity. Now, if this is around a relationship and you felt like no matter what you did, there was always something outside of your relationship that was contributing to the problems that you were having. It's like, this is a new opportunity to change that. There's something around that. So again, if it didn't work out, it's a blessing in disguise. Now in your current energy, the judgment's in reverse. This is a decision that's already been made, the fool. And spirit's like, look, you want to manifest something different. Here's your opportunity. Like this has already been decided. So you can take a chance now. Now that you've relieved yourself of feeling attached to something that you either there was an obligation to, now you're being broken free and you can take a chance. So either you made the decision or the universe made the decision and came in and shifted something for you so that you could see that there is something brand new happening. The full with the moon, there you are. So whatever needed to be revealed to you was revealed to you. And it's as if the decision wasn't that difficult at that point. It, well, usually when we have to make a tough decision, it isn't easy. But I think it was less difficult for you because you realize that this is opening up new opportunities for you, whether it be in love or in work situations, it's going to give you a much clearer path. So something's definitely going to be revealed. Now, if there are some fears around that, that's natural, especially if there's something new coming about. But I think you're going to work your way through this with no problem. I think you're emotionally more ready than you may have been in the past to make these changes. So in the near future, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse with this, the Eight of Pentacles and then the Queen of Swords. So 
a lot of this is around the truth, your personal truth, how you work, how you choose uh, to focus your energy. And the Page of Pentacles in reverse just means you're not going to entertain or deal with any kind of small offers in any area of your life. Friendships, relationships, work opportunities. This is you know how valuable you are and what you bring to the table. And that's your personal truth. And you're going to stand by that. So you're going to be very clear, probably more open and um, clear in your ability to speak as well. So where you may have held back in the past in speaking up and saying how you feel about things, where you, maybe you were afraid that if you spoke your truth that that would create a problem, I don't think you're going to have that issue in the near future. So in the next couple of weeks, you could find that you're really telling people like it is. Like you're not going to hold back how you feel, especially if you don't feel valued or you felt bound to something. I think you're just going to say, look, I, I don't want to be bound to this anymore. I just don't. I really want to move forward. And this is how I feel about it. I put a lot of effort into my relationships, my work life, and I'm not going to take something small. I'm going to go for the big stuff, the magician. I'm going to create the things that I want to create in my life, and I'm not going to let anything that's less than what I know I deserve come into my experience any longer. So the challenge, we have the two of pentacles. So it may be tough at times to make this decision. It could be around your finances as well. Meaning if you have to make a change in work, you could be thinking, well, how is this going to affect me financially? And that could be the challenge is that you're thinking maybe that transition, it, either something may not pay as much or you're concerned that it's going to dip into your savings so the thoughts could be around how do I make sure that this works out for me financially and which way is the best way to go. So that could be the challenge. Like, and then, well, the lovers is coming out. So what's the best option for you? For some of you, you could be dating and have two different opportunities, two different people. And for you, you want to make sure you make the right choice, right? The Pentacles doesn't have to be around their financial situation. It could just mean that you want to make sure they're as balanced as you are. In that way, you want somebody who has the same work ethic and it's going to be really important that there's balance within the relationship because if there's been challenges in the past and choosing a partner that has the same type of work ethic or the same financial stability and you realize that that created problems, then you don't want to repeat that. So the challenge is finding somebody who is the same as you or it has been, or the challenge could be choosing between two people because which is going to be more balanced for you. So let's see what we get for clarifiers with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so where something didn't come together, the Six of Swords is coming out to tell you, you made the right decision. You may not be very clear about how it's going to look right away, but you are definitely going to a better place mentally, emotionally, physically, but mostly mentally. So whatever choice you do make, it's going to be the right one. It's going to take you to the place that you know you want to get, and it's going to be much smoother, much smoother roads in the future, not as many bumpy potholes. So the King of Pentacles, this is making a choice around something that is more stable. And if you do have two different people to choose from, obviously you're going to want to choose the person that is. For those of you who are dealing with this, masculine or feminine doesn't matter. It's just uh, the King of Pentacles is just somebody whose energy is very stable. This could also just be your mindset. So this is where I want to go. And this is what I expect in a partner as well. And I think that's what you're going to find because this is the energy you're possessing right now is a sense of, I want this, this is how I feel in my life or what I'm going to create, so I need you to show up the same way. And if in the past, you had people who were either still connected to past situations or they had problems financially, whatever the case may be, in this particular moment, you're choosing something that is much more stable. So the hangman is coming in. You've waited long enough. You've been enlightened. You've already had these experiences. You realize what it's going to take to make you happy and what you want that to look like moving forward. So with the devil and the magician, we have the queen of pentacles. I think you're releasing a lot of thoughts around 
what it, how do I want to put this? So it's like, you know, you can manifest what you want. You can get yourself out of any energy of feeling unstable, but something was creating that sense around you. So there were people that you were either tied to, again, I keep repeating this, but it's something that you felt very bound to. And it's like, you've been trying so hard to manifest yourself out of that. And whether it be a thought process, an actual um, experience that you were having, or people around you created lots of instability. I, I think what you're working hardest on is to manifest getting out of that place. And you're doing so, or at least in the past, you were working on that. The magician with the page of cups, we have the two of cups in reverse. So people just not getting you or what it is that you desire. And you realize that you can't stay in circumstances where people don't get you. If they don't, they don't. And learning to accept that is the greatest gateway to new opportunities, new experiences, new emotional experiences. So the judgment in reverse with the fool, the nine of pentacles is coming out. So there's a lot of these energies of not feeling as stable or independent. And I think you've already made the decision that no matter what, you need that first before you move forward. And this is you being open to taking chances that maybe you wouldn't in the past. Maybe there were people who were naysayers that were barking in your ear or people that didn't believe in you. And you're finally realizing you have to believe in you. That's where it starts. It doesn't matter what anyone around you thinks, feels, or says. And you don't want that to hold you back anymore because it can cause a sense of instability. And you know that if you take the chances that you feel strongly about, that's what's going to break any kind of a, a pattern, something that wasn't working for you. All of that is really good energy. It's like the choice has been made by spirit. They're already taking you down this path. So get ready to take chances in your future. You're going to have a clear answer about what that is and how you're going to need to move forward in order to create that. The full with the moon, we had the page of cups again. Good. Because again, this is like new experiences after new experiences. Knowing what you want emotionally, starting fresh, a new perspective around that, a new opportunity. Even for those of you that are single, this could be somebody maybe a little bit younger that comes in. Um, this could also be a focus on children and the emotional stability around your children as well. And what is the best choice for you moving forward as far as your work and or your relationship. So the page of pentacles in reverse with the eight of pentacles, we have the ace of pentacles. So yeah, there's going to be a new opportunity. Nothing small is going to be accepted. It's like you're going to wait for that one big, promising, stable offer. So those of you looking for a job or an, a switch in your um, employment, this is that big one. Waiting for the, the right one to show up has been the right move for you because you know how hard you'll work. And I think that's going to come across in any kind of interview that you do. Any kind of new situation that pops up, just know people are going to see your value and see your worth. And there's nothing wrong with really tooting your own horn with the Queen of Swords, really speaking your truth and explaining, hey, look, I know what my value is. So this is what I bring to the table. Instead of maybe being shy or having fear that if you speak too much about those things, the confidence that you have, that that may be something that turns somebody off. It isn't going to. So the Eight of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords is the sun. And this is going to make you really happy. So this choice that you're having a difficult time making, let's say it is with your work, before we get to the lover's part, this is what's coming along. Spirit's like, wherever you have felt unstable and you finally made a choice to detach from something you felt so obligated to, here we're bringing you exactly what you've been trying to manifest. You want that feeling of independence, stability, security, all of those things. And here it is. Because you've worked so hard, you've spoken up, you've uh, left behind some of the fears that you had. Here comes the happiness. Because you were honest, not only with yourself, but with people around you about how you were feeling. You spoke your truth or you're going to speak your truth very clearly. And I think you're going to realize that's what really brings joy to you is when you can be honest about who you are, how you feel, and what you desire. So your challenge here with the Two of Pentacles and the Lovers is the Two of Wands. Your biggest challenge is not knowing how things are going to turn out and maybe having a fear that you might make the wrong choice. That's just an energy 
For some of you, yes, that's a fear. You're afraid you're not going to make the right choice because you've already had experiences where you made a decision and it didn't work out the way that you had hoped. But you have much more knowledge now than you did before. So I don't think it's going to be as difficult as maybe it feels right now to make this change or make this choice, especially if it's around a partnership. If you're dating more than one person, you're going to choose the right one this time. All right, so I'm going to clear this. And we're going to get into whichever person is on your mind. If you're dating multiple people, it might be a little hard to narrow it down. Whoop. Okay. So the Page of Cups is what wants to stay on as we gather the cards on the top of it right here. So yes, a lot of emotional experiences that are going to be new over the next couple of weeks. All right. So let's take a look at what's going on with you and your person. So your person's energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see what comes along with that. The Four of Swords. This, you've got somebody who's a little bit of an overthinker. Uh, maybe fear of taking chances. So they may not seem like they're moving forward very quickly. It's because they overthink things. Two of Pentacles in reverse. It's not that they have a difficult time necessarily making choices. It's just that they overthink things. And then we have the Three of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want to make the mistakes that they've made in the past either. They know that they have to tread lightly. That's why they overthink things. So your energy is the emperor in reverse with the justice card. So where things have not been balanced, maybe you didn't feel empowered in your relationships in the past. And, and you might not in this, if I can speak today, you might not in this situation, but I promise you, whatever it is that you're feeling is going to balance out. That's what you're aiming for. So the seven of pentacles is... I think a waiting type of energy that you've had, hoping that things are going to eventually work out. Rem remember, this is the next 10 days. So it's just an energy of where your person's head is at. And I think they just overthink things a little bit. And for you with the justice, we then have the hermit card. I think you finally are starting to come out of a place of maybe holding back and wanting to give to another person. And yes, you've waited a long time to get to this place. And maybe you're curious, like, why this person has to overthink things. If anything pops up for you that makes you feel a little bit uneasy, right here is just telling me that actually it's going to balance out. So let's see. I'm going to get a couple of cards from the, I just had a complete blank. Yeah. And then we'll get some advice. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing. And then attraction. You attract romantic love, attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, heart to heart conversations. Good. Because I was, I was kind of getting stuck on this. It's like the passion could be there. The attraction is there. You know that you feel some type of connection with this person, but there needs to be some kind of a deeper conversation. Maybe for you to feel a little bit more connected and to help get this person out of their head. I think there's just kind of a, a feeling of unknowing. Unknowing, that makes sense. That you just don't know exactly where things are going. So the justice, again, I keep wanting to revert back to that. Things are going to balance out. I think that's all you want. It's just for things to get to a place where they're more out in the open. And I, the conversation feels like it's going to be had so that you have a better idea of where this person stands. If there's any confusion right now. Let me see what the outcome is for the two of you over the next two weeks. Are they going to get this cleared up? Yeah, judgment. So it'll happen. It's just a matter of putting the work in for both of you and being very clear with the Queen of Swords. Like I said in the main reading, this is about you speaking your truth. And I just think you're going to cut through the bullshit and get straight to the point with them. Even if you've hesitated in the past and being very clear about how you feel, I think you're going to get to the, the point that you need to where this person understands you fully. All right, let's see what the Lover's Oracle has for you. Hmm. Okay, this feels right. Secret admirer, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Interesting. 
So it could be somebody outside of this person that has strong feelings. Acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. True, we can't control other people. And accepting things where they are could be what helps balance your energy back out. Of course, we want to know if we're questioning whether somebody feels a certain way or not. I think you'll get this person out of their head and speaking a little bit more clearly. Only time will tell. There you go. And then if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So each of you deals with things just a little bit differently. But as far as love, yes, it's all in your heart. How do you feel about this? Are you truly, truly connected to it? Do you think that the opportunity is there for the two of you to grow? And can you get to that place? I think you can. Let's get a couple of cards from the Wisdom of the Oracle to close this out. This is for Pisces. No place like home. You could be 50, born on the 5th of the month. There could be something around your home life. Maybe you're thinking about making a move and you know that you want to feel really secure in that. All water signs seem to be very focused on their home lives. Pisces and Cancers, more specifically, not saying that if you're a Scorpio that you don't, if you have other placements and you're watching this particular reading for Pisces, but it's like something about your home is going to be really important. So those feelings, thoughts could be popping up around the next couple of weeks and what you want to do if you want to move do you want to stay where you are all of that could be popping up for you so come to the edge we have 36 you could be born on the third the sixth or the ninth of the month so this is asking you to take that chance it's like the full card being ready to take the next step so if it is something around your home that's it come to the edge take a chance go somewhere you haven't gone before if you want to move cities Go ahead and do it. I feel like this is the green light for those of you that want to make that particular change. And for others of you, this is like, you are not bound to anything. And when you open yourself up spiritually, you realize you really aren't bound to anything. There is no actual exact way we're supposed to do life, especially now in the age of Aquarius. You're meant to take chances and do things differently and free yourself from the confines of the old way of doing things, the old patriarchy that's being broken down. So I think that's where you are. You're kind of at the edge of or the precipice of that big change in your life that you feel is coming. So unfinished symphony, this is a 10, which means completion. So you're completing those things that were unfinished or you felt were unfinished. And now you're ready to take that new leap of faith, that new chance into something brand new. And then we have a message in a bottle. This is interesting because it feels like being a medium, I always feel like there's something from our loved ones that's popping up all the time. For those of you that feel very connected to those who have crossed over, this feels like a message from above, from someone that's a lost loved one that's saying, hey, you know, here's this message that I've been wanting to get across to you for so long. Is there something significant about the 15th of the month? month hold on the 15th is already passed of December so it could be the 15th of January or the 5th because we have the one and the five where something comes through a message that you've been waiting for something significant is going to come about and it's like it's going to help wrap something up for you that maybe felt a little unfinished okay those were your messages thank you so much for being here I love you guys so much I appreciate all of your support and again if you would like a personal reading the information's in the description box below or in the about section of my channel. Hope you guys have an amazing 10 days and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.